Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels into the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Topeka, Kansas, then you are in luck. Today, we're going to see and explore what makes Topeka a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Topeka has almost 125,000 people and is known as the cow chip capital of the world. If you aren't sure, cow chips are poop. It is located in northeastern Kansas right about here on a map. Not far from other cities like Kansas City or Lincoln, Nebraska. Founded in 1857, Topeka means a good place to dig potatoes in native language. Today, it offers much more than just good potatoes. From museums to entertainment venues, it's like a big city with all that small town Midwest American feel that everyone needs to experience. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that makes Topeka a great place. Number 10, Topeka Zoological Park. Most major cities have some kind of zoo, some better than others and some safer than others. But the Topeka Zoo is really a top notch, medium sized facility within Gage Park. It's got over 250 animals and has one of the first indoor tropical rainforests in the country. It also welcomes over 200,000 people per year. Opening back in 1933, it expanded multiple times into what we see today, which is a really great family-friendly attraction that you can visit while you're enjoying Gage Park. You can't visit Topeka without stopping in here. Number 9. Gage Park Who doesn't just love a stroll in the park? This is definitely the place for it. It's a place for a wedding or a simple picnic. Gage Park is 160 acres and was established in 1899. It's also home to the Topeka Zoo, Children's Discovery Center, and has a train and carousel. There's a ton of things to do here and this is really the host of all outdoor activities in the city. It is a local favorite spot for family gatherings, exercising on the two mile fitness loop trail, and just enjoying the scenery. Number eight, Lake Shawnee. Do you like to swim, go fishing, put your feet in the water? There are a lot of lakes in Kansas. This one is special. It's man-made, built in 1939, and had a huge opening day with over 5,000 fishermen. Lake Shawnee is visited by more than 1 million people annually and is named as a top travel destination in Kansas. Visitors to the lake enjoy festivals, golf, boating, fishing, camping, hiking, and playgrounds. You can also rent shelter houses for events and gatherings, one of the most beautiful places you will see in Kansas. Number 7. Children's Discovery Center Kids are hard to please. I know mine are, sometimes. They're always bored, hungry, or bored, and there's usually no pleasing them unless you give them your tablet or smartphone. Get your kids off the electronics by taking them to the Children's Discovery Center. Featuring 15,000 square feet of indoor exhibits, they can explore science, careers, building, and other awesome programs. The center is available for daily programs, field trips, birthday parties, and other special events. So bring some friends. Number six. Combat Air Museum. People of all ages love aircrafts, and this place has 42 of them ranging from the earliest aviation era to present day. 
They house the largest collection of World War I replica aircrafts in the Midwest. So you can see up close the detail of these machines, how they were designed, and how they all work. An extensive display of artifacts and dioramas are available for viewing as you walk through the museum. You can also attend classes to learn about the history of aviation. The Combat Air Museum is located on an active airfield with the longest runway in the state of Kansas. Number five, Kansas Museum of History. History is important not only to be told and remembered, but to be displayed and this is what you will find here. With more than 30,000 square feet of exhibits, the Kansas Museum of History presents history from prehistoric to modern eras and everything in between. There's also a full-size train, Native American teepee, and a 1950s diner. Definitely an awesome place to learn about the history of Kansas and use as a photo op for family or senior photos. Number four, the Great Overland Station. This is one of those places you just absolutely can't afford to miss. The former 1927 Union Pacific Railroad Station is now home to the Great Overland Station a museum that showcases Topeka's history and railroad lifetime. Visitors can learn all about the state's railroads that were laid through as well. There's a kid section called Choo Choo Junction and a huge model train display. There are even live trains that still go by the station. Perfect for the child or adult who loves trains and wants to see them up close and in person. Number three. Mulvane Art Museum. Topeka has a lot of museums and a few of them are on this list and this is one as equally deserving. Opened back in 1924, the Mulvane Art Museum houses about 4,000 objects from around the world including paintings, drawings, sculptures, photographs, and more. There's over 9,000 square feet of exhibitor space, four classrooms, two sculptor gardens, and it offers free admission. In addition, the exhibits in the museum also present an ever-changing exhibit from artists around the world. This is a great stop to see and support local artists and learn about Kansas in the meantime. Number two, Topeka Performing Arts Center. This is the place to go if you are in Topeka and you want to see some live entertainment and don't feel like driving 300 miles to some major city that you're going to get lost in. Built in 1940, it was the host of Broadway shows, sporting events, musical acts, and circuses. It was renovated in the 1980s and is now a 2400 seat auditorium that acts as a venue for major musical tours as well as a hall for meetings and other functions. There's no other place like this in the area and it's a great alternative to driving long distances for entertainment. Number one, Kansas State Capitol Building. I know, I know, every state has one, but this one is different. The state capitol building is one of a few capitol buildings that still offer tours that go to the top of the dome. After 37 years of construction, the dome now features a 22 and a half foot bronze sculpture of the Kansas warrior Ad Astra. In 2014, a $332 million renovation was completed on the historic building, updating the entire facility and ensuring its integrity for generations to come. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Topeka, Kansas. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.